So Senator Bernie Sanders is now fed up with attacks from centrist Democrats, and he has decided to fight back. Now, recently I showed you guys a video where Think Progress uh, had basically called Bernie Sanders a hypocrite for making money off sales of his book. Now, Think Progress, by the way, is an arm of the Center for American Progress, which is touts itself as a liberal think tank. Uh, but in reality, they're not necessarily all that liberal. Uh, they're more centrist than anything, and they take money from corporate Democrats. Uh, now, in a letter to the Center for American Progress, Sanders has said that the group has both unfairly criticized him, but not just him, but also Senator Elizabeth Warren and Senator Cory Booker. He said, I and other Democratic candidates are running campaigns based on principles and ideas and not engaging in mudslinging or personal attacks on each other, which apparently is not what the Center for American Progress is doing. Uh, <clears throat> and especially not near a Tandon. She's one of the harshest Bernie critics over the last few years, saying some ridiculous things, uh, terrible things about Senator Sanders, retweeting some terrible people. Um, I don't necessarily want to give them... Uh, any shout outs here, uh, but a lot of people who are paying attention on, on social media, you know who they are. Um, <clears throat> not only that, but uh, he also adds, meanwhile, the Center for American Progress is using its resources to smear Senator Booker, Senator Warren, and myself, among others. This is hardly the way to build unity or to win the general election. Now, these are, again, the people that are criticizing Bernie Sanders are the same ones that are screaming, oh, we need to have unity, 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 unity. And in their same breath, they're also saying, but he's not a, even a Democrat. He's not even a Democrat. We need unity, not even a Democrat. Okay, that's the way you want to build unity. Fine. There's more. Sanders also wrote that the group recently published an article on Think Progress that criticized him, quote, for his appearance and for the income that he earned from writing a book. Then, a day later, he says, you published a video that dishonestly attacked me for hypocrisy in my efforts to address income inequality in America. Now, again, I showed you guys that video on Friday, and I don't have enough time to show it to you today. Um, so, look, these attacks, notice how they're, they're missing one thing, policy. They're not talking about policy. No, they're talking about, oh, look at Bernie Sanders. He made money, and he's talking about taxing the rich. Yeah, he's going to tax himself. And they also talk about, well, he's so unkempt. Oh, I'm sorry he doesn't have perfectly coiffed hair like Robert Francis O'Rourke or Pete Buttigieg. Which, by the way, they do have nice hair. I'm actually not knocking them at all. But that's not the point. The point here should be policy. Policy, policy, policy. And on that, this is where attacks have come at Senator Cory Booker and Elizabeth Warren. In fact... Um, Sanders adds that the group unfairly targeted Warren in 2017 and 2018, as well as Booker earlier this year, for teaming up with Sanders on a prescription drug bill. That bill would have allowed the U.S. to import cheaper prescription drugs from Canada. Now, there's only two people that are harmed by that. Two groups. Prescription drug companies and politicians who are bribed by prescription drug companies. And apparently, add on to that, think tanks that are funded by... The pharmaceutical industry. Why would you attack Booker for that? That's a good policy. Saves money. Or go after Elizabeth Warren for attacking uh, or sorry, for promoting detailed policy proposals to take on wealth and income inequality. Unless you yourself don't believe in that. Maybe that's why. And why would a so-called progressive think tank be against bold progressive ideas? Maybe it's because they're actually not in favor of those ideas. And they're not in favor because they get corporate funding. Now, Sanders ends by saying, quote, I will be informing my grassroots supporters of the foregoing concerns that I have about the role CAP is playing. Should your actions evolve in the coming months, I'm happy to reconsider what kind of partnership we can have. So now CAP, of course, responded to this almost immediately saying, oh, no, we're, we're a research institution focused on ideas and policy. Really? Uh, no, apparently, uh, look, from what I've seen, their focus is on trying to be less progressive and put out less progressive policy. You know their big idea now? Medicare for all extra, which actually is a public health, uh, a public option for healthcare. No big change, just opening up a public option. 
Now, that would have been progressive in, say, 2000. Hell, Hillary Clinton, back in her younger days, when she tried to get universal health care, was more progressive than the position that Think Progress, uh, I'm sorry, the Center for American Progress, is taking in 2019. Back in the 90s, Hillary Clinton was more progressive than they are. Give me a break. More. They said, it is in, or editorially independent of both CAP and CAP action and has been for years. Talking about Think Progress. We do not suggest, edit, approve, or see their stories before publishing. And in this particular instance, no one at CAP or CAP action knew about this article or video's existence before publication. Indeed, Think Progress publishes articles with which we disagree. We cannot and will not muzzle Think Progress an editorial independent journalistic enterprise, and we believe it's wrong for any political leader to demand it, it do so. Now, who's talking about muzzling, right? What they're talking about is dishonest attacks and smears against the Democratic front runner. By the way, new Emerson poll out has Bernie Sanders leading nationally over Joe Biden. Bernie Sanders is the Democratic frontrunner. Bernie Sanders is the Democratic frontrunner, and you were attacking him in a very disingenuous way. You want to go after his policies? That's absolutely fine. But calling him disheveled and then saying, oh, he's a hypocrite for actually making money from his book, that's ridiculous. All right, more. Um, <clears throat> so now the whole question here is, is Center for American Progress, are they actually independent? And Cap says, well, absolutely they are. We don't, we don't say anything. However, according to some former employees of the Center for American Progress, or at least uh, of Think Progress, I get them confused a little bit at this point, um, <clears throat> said this. Now, this is Benjamin Armbruster, uh, who wrote a Twitter thread on this. He said, I was the National Security News Vertical Editor which no longer exists at Think Progress from roughly three years, from 2011 to 2014. In late 2011, early 2012, we were smeared by the right-wing pro-Israel lobby, APAC, and their allies as pro-Iran anti-Semites because we were writing stories that were critical of the Israeli government policies that make the two-state solution more difficult, and writing pieces critical of going to war with Iran and supportive of uh, diplomacy with Iran. Instead of vigorously defending our work, the Center for American Progress, led by Neera Tandon, mildly backed us at public at, in, uh, at first, but behind the scenes, Neera and others began monitoring and censoring our work on Iran and Israel. So that is on behalf of the Israeli government. Now you could say, look, that, that is a policy position that's personal, right? It doesn't have anything to do with money, right? Well, I don't know about that. We'll see. Uh, now, a few months before, in the fall of 2011, and this hasn't been reported report, uh, before, Armbruster says, a senior cap NATSEC staffer demanded that we stop writing about Saudi human rights violations because a Saudi prince was in town, and this staffer was attempting to solicit donations. Let's go to intercept writer Zed, uh, Zed Jelani, who also wrote a thread on this. They said... Think Progress has many independent-minded uh, writers. And by the way, this segment is not attacking those people, right? So I'm not attacking the independent writers. What I'm trying to do here is point out that basically what they have is an oversight system that is forcing some of these people to write articles that, or to censor uh, some pieces or to write certain opinion pieces, uh, like the ones, like the attacks against Bernie Sanders. Uh, and now... Back to uh, Jelani here. The larger, larger issue is that corporations and foreign governments get access to CAP's policymaking uh, process. And CAP has high government access. Stories I wrote for The Intercept demanded how the UAE used CAP staff, I'm sorry, demonstrated how the UAE used CAP staff to lobby the Trump administration as it was funding the Center for American Progress. The head of Center, uh, Center for American Progress, near Tandon, once scolded me for writing a blog post noting that Michael Bloomberg partner was drawing the salary for Zuccotti Park. She noted that CAP was soliciting Bloomberg as a donor. Hmm, so much for being independent. There's more. Center for American Progress also helped short-circuit debate amongst uh, Democrats 
Because despite its 501c3 status, many of its staffers want to work in administrations. They, for instance, reined me in on Afghanistan because Obama White House opposed my view. It was a regular occurrence uh, when I worked at CAP for corporate donors or party elites to complain to our leadership <clears throat> and get us chewed out for what we were writing. He uh, asks, how can a think tank think when it isn't free of influence from corporations, foreign governments, and party elites? A lot of people know this is how the CAP operates. But because it's a clearinghouse for Democratic presidential administrations and access to government more generally, most people are unwilling to publicly uh, talk about it. Washington's access culture is suffocating them. Now, <clears throat> he adds that this has going, been going on for years. So, look, does this sound like they're independent? They're not the only ones that are going to be speaking up. I'm sure there are more people. But see, again, this is why I say that the Center for American Progress is a misnomer. They're not for progress. They're corporate funded. They're going to continue to bring in the status quo and, and of course, court big corporate donors. That's why they can't be against Medicare for all. Or I'm sorry, that's why, they, that's why they're against Medicare for all. That's why they can't be for single payer. That's why they can't be for disrupting the, the, the industry, disrupting some of the politics that we have it's because there are there are uh, corporate donors that are interested in steep, keeping the status quo and they will donate to the center for american progress and think progress will continue to be influenced by those corporate donations it's sad and so this is again this isn't to go after some of the uh, reporters you know and the people that write the articles that think progress. No, this is to go after the power structure. This is what we call the establishment. This is the establishment. This is what we're fighting against. The role of money in politics and the role of influence in these so-called think tanks. We've got to root out that corruption or else we're never going to have real progress. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.